Hey everyone, welcome to today's update. This is Tuesday, December 15th, 2020. And this update is going to be a quick to the point update about uh, unemployment benefits as well as a brief uh, stimulus package update. As I said in my video yesterday, this is actually a big week. Uh, coming up to Friday is a basically a deadline that government has to pass a couple of bills. And there's a few on the table that we're gonna quickly discuss. Hey everyone, my name is Randy. Welcome to the Late Night Grind. This is a brand new YouTube channel that I just started. I've been uploading daily talking about stimulus updates, uh, unemployment updates, things like that, things that I am interested in. Um, I would really appreciate it if you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also that bell notification icon so that you'll be notified when I put out new videos and some new information. One of the things I would greatly appreciate is just go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. It's uh, by far and away the best thing you can do to support new YouTube channels. Uh, it helps out with that YouTube algorithm. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so yesterday we found out that there are actually uh, two bills on the table. Uh, one is uh, kind of a comprehensive bill that includes things like unemployment uh, benefit uh, extensions as well as the $300 per week uh, unemployment benefit boost. Um, then there is a separate bill, the one that Republicans and Democrats have been fighting over for months and months and months. It includes things like state and local governments, which is what the Democrats have wanted. Uh, and it also includes um, liability protections for business, which is what uh, Republicans have wanted. So basically, uh, this Problem Solvers Caucus went ahead, split, the, split up these bills and said, OK, so here's some things that you guys aren't agreeing on. So let's kind of put this into a bill and we can either forget that bill altogether or pass that bill. Uh, but regardless, relief is needed and it's needed now. So regarding unemployment updates, it is included in the now about $750 billion um, COVID relief bill, as they're calling it, not necessarily a stimulus package. Uh, what is missing from that is the $1,200 stimulus checks, $500 stimulus checks for dependents. Uh, it is not included in that bill as of right now. Uh, however, like I said, unemployment extension is the $300 extra unemployment benefit boost is, uh, things like eviction moratoriums and a whole bunch of other things are included in that bill. It has bipartisan support. However, here's the thing. Uh, Josh Hawley, Republican, and Bernie Sanders, Independent, have both basically teamed up and said, no, 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 we might hold up voting on anything if stimulus checks are not included in these bills. Now, stimulus checks, the $1,200, the $500, it basically adds up to about $275 billion. So any bill would have to have enough room for that $275 billion to be included for everyone to receive stimulus checks. Uh, the vote on these things may come as soon as uh, Thursday or Friday. Actually, Friday is when the government essentially runs out of money again, and they need to vote on money for themselves uh, to be able to come back to work and discuss things. So there's a few people that have said, no, we, no we're not going to vote on anything, or we, may, we might even hold up the vote if it doesn't include stimulus checks. So this week is a big week. Uh, every day seems like there's a little bit more discussion, but that's the status of it. So whether you're looking for a stimulus check or unemployment benefits, um, that's where it stands right now. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and uh, as well as that bell notification icon. I've been posting every day about this, so, so check back in tomorrow and uh, we'll see if there's uh, some good news. All right, guys, I really appreciate you. I'll see you in the next video.